We're going to work on getting a basic understanding of a Drupal website. And what we're looking at right now is the first screen you would see after your initial installation of a Drupal website. Uh, this is a theme called Garland, and a theme is basically controlling the look and feel. And like I say, Garland is the theme we're looking at right now. First thing to understand is each page is divided into regions. And uh, the best way to get a handle on what regions we're dealing with is to go into the administration section, as it says right here. Go to blocks under site building. And we can take a look in the blocks area. Not only does it list uh, the blocks that we have available, and we'll cover blocks in just a moment here, but it also gives us an indication as to what the regions are that are available with this particular theme. In the case of the Garland theme, we have a left sidebar, we have our right sidebar, our header up here, and down at the bottom, our content and footer. This is a little misleading right here because actually this whole area in the middle is your content area. So those are the regions that are defined, and these regions are where you can put blocks. Blocks essentially are in pieces of information. Uh, such as navigation. Navigation is uh, a menu choice right here. This is the navigation area. This is the navigation block. Uh, it says we have a user login on the left sidebar, but we're not seeing it because we're already logged in and don't need to see that particular piece of information. Let's, uh, oh, here's the Drupal logo down here. And you'll note it's located in the footer, but this is easy enough to move to a different region. So we can drag and drop, and let's put it in the header instead of the footer. You'll note that as we've moved it to the header section, I did a drag and drop there. It also can be done uh, through the drop-down list here. And this drop-down list works like that. So let's keep it in the header. And in order to actually see what it will look like, you have to hit the Save. And the page will come back with the... Drupal theme up in the header. Let's go ahead and put it back in the footer. Let's do it the other way with the uh, drop down. And it will move there. There it goes. Save the block. Save the blocks. And there you have it. Those are the regions in this particular theme called Garland. The next thing we're going to take a look at are blocks. And blocks are essentially just that, blocks of information. And I think the best way to get a handle on a block is to add one. Go ahead and create one. And we'll hit the add block, brings us to the block form. The block description is what appears on the block overview page, the page we just came from. We'll create a contact me or contact Jim block. And... I'll give it a block title. Let's just put the phone number in there. Looks like a shameless plug already, huh? All right. These pieces of information, uh, we don't have to worry about those right now. We can cover that later on. Let's go ahead and save this block, and then we'll have to assign it to a region. In our case, we're going to assign it to the right sidebar. So here we go. We have This was the block description that we entered, contact Jim. This time around, we'll go ahead and use the drop-down to assign it. Boom, right sidebar. You'll notice now that uh, the information is in the right sidebar. Okay, confirmed. And let's go ahead and save it. There we have it. Contact Jim at Anthony Media. One problem. That's the wrong phone number. So how do we fix it? Well, we go ahead, find our block, hit the configure button, or rather link. It brings us back to our form where we can fix things change them, alter them. 
You'll notice this has been uh, uh, by default changed as far as custom visibility goes. Again, we'll just leave this stuff as it is. And save the block. And there it is. We have the correct phone number. And this is what it will look like on the front page. So now we have, if you recall, we didn't have this right sidebar before because we didn't have any content assigned to it, or blocks, I should say. Now that we do have the block, it shows up. The next thing we'll cover is content and what actually goes into this area.